your engine has a mechanical problem inside, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to do a compression test of your engine. Now the first thing you have to realize when doing a compression reading is you have to do it on a warm engine, not one that's cold. So start up the engine and let it warm up for about five minutes. Now once the engine's warmed up, remove all the spark plug wires so you can access the spark plugs. Then get a spark plug socket and wrench and remove all the spark plugs. And here's the last one. Then open up your compression tester gauge and remove the hose that fits into your engine. Then screw it into the number one spark plug hole by hand. Screw it in until it's snug. Then snap the gauge on top. Now crank the engine over a few times to build up the compression. Then check the reading, in this case it's about 120 PSI. And then write it down on a piece of paper so you don't forget. Then of course you want to check all the other cylinders so you can compare the pressures. Now that we're done, we found out we had 120, 115, 120, and 115. Well, what does that mean? Well, if the pressure difference from one cylinder to the other is more than 15% different, there's a problem. But since this difference is only 5 pounds out of 120, that's less than 4%, so that's totally normal. In that respect, car engines are like people. Nothing's perfect. And speaking about imperfections, what you care about is the difference in pressure. The actual readings often vary from gauge to gauge, so what you care about is the difference in pressure. For example, if one cylinder had 90 pounds pressure, but another one only had 40 pounds pressure, then you'd have a serious problem inside the engine. So now you know how to use a compression gauge to see if your engine is mechanically sound or not. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com and I'll answer them. <laughs>